The general idea with Max is you have these individual objects that can each perform specific functions, and you're sending messages between them. And a message is really just a string of text, or we, we can even consider it as a list of symbols. And it's just a series, it's just a text string. Like we see one here that's path, underscore, uh, path space live underscore set. Another one here that's property space clip underscore trigger underscore quantization. So that's really the most important thing about Max is you're sending messages from device to the to device. And that's really what we're going to be manipulating throughout. And the wires that you can uh, make and kind of change their destination of, say, which device we're connecting these messages to. That really is the, the basics of Max. The other really important thing is a specialized message called Bang. And it's really just the word B-A-N-G, bang, but it has a special function in that it's saying either I just finished an action or that you should do an action. So it really is just an indicator of, of start doing something. So a bang is like go. Um, so that's the kind of the really the specialized message. And let's look at one of the most important ways we kind of troubleshoot a patch. And we do this by making uh, hitting M, which makes a message box. Now, a message box um, can use for a variety of things. First off, we can just put data in it that we want to send out at any time. Um, but in this instance, I'll connect the output alive path up to the right inlet of the message box. And this says whatever data that comes into the right inlet will actually change the message that's within the box. Now, I'll click on path live underscore set. So I'm going to send live.path a path message. And a path message is set up with the word path a space, and then the object from the live object model that you're trying to get the ID of. Now, right now I'm in edit mode, so if I click on this, it's going to start editing the data. But if I command click on, it'll actually act like I'm pushing that button, and it will send the data. So I've sent live.path uh, this message, path underscore live set, and it outputs ID space and a number, and that's the ID number of the live set. So these path messages can become quite complex. If I'm trying to identify, say, a knob on a plugin that's in a group, that's in a track, that's in, um, in a live set, the path message can be quite long, and you kind of format it based on that live object model. We're trying to get to the live set, which is a pretty easy path to find, um, and it will very often, you'll find it's a very low number, right? Because ID1, it's the whole live set.